Hello fellow skin fans and friends. Back for another video, Kanishka and I just did a recap covering the men's short program for the team event. And now we can end our night. I need to go to bed after this. But first we will recap the pair short program for the team event. And Kanishka, what do you think of the Russians being in first place with a super high score of 80.92? That's too huge, I would say, for Tarasova and um, Vladimir Morozov. Yeah, it was a little high. Good for skate, me. though. Let's not take that away from them. But, Great skate. Looking at the protocols, they got plus three grades of execution for every element. And rightfully so, but they could have at least kept it a little bit more close between the top three. Um, or even specifically the top two, considering those two were the clean ones. And then I was going to say, I uh, don't have a problem with them being in first, but their yeah. scores should be competitive with Megan and Eric of Canada. But that's almost four points of a difference. And when you're that like close to the top, I don't think there should be that close of a gap when both pair skated like really clean programs. And I will say that Evgenia and Vladimir, sorry for cutting you off earlier, um, skated so well. I knew, Everybody knows my opinion on them. I think they're so boring to watch. They don't excite me. But they were more exciting than usual here, but not as exciting as other pair skaters are. And Eric and Megan are as great as ever, but I felt like they were just a tiny bit hesitant, which still a hesitant Megan and Eric is still a wonderful program. I don't know. I'm still like processing my thoughts. All you viewers, if you're watching, yes, the pairs just finished their short programs. So our thoughts are still fresh. The interesting thing to note about the pairs short program here, even more so than the scores, is relative like what is what are we expecting in the individual event and right now based on the results that we have seen it looks like Tarasov and Morozov even have a small edge on the program components to Alyona Savchenko and Bruno Masso and I think that is a surprise to many viewers I can't believe it so Again, like I'm not paying too much attention to the scores, but I am wondering how these scores would compare if Sui and Han, Sui and Han of China, who are also the sentimental favorites for Olympic gold, how would their program components fare? Because it seems like the way that this competition is going, it may come down to those crucial program component marks. And I don't know. In yeah. the individual events, I feel like if both the the Russian pair and Sway and Han were to skate perfectly clean, the edge should go to Sway and Han. Keyword yes. is should. By looking at these numbers, I'm a, I'm a tad confused. You know, hopefully by having all of the big guns for the individual events, it kind of resets or level sets the judging. That's probably wishful thinking, but I think that's how it should be. Yeah. Yeah. The Russians, don't they have that... Um... Quad twist. No. What's the program that's very upbeat that not a lot of people like because they blur out the, the panties drop line? Is it... I don't. I didn't see that movie. Lady Marmalade. Lady Mar Marmalade? Yeah. Marmalade? Like, Christina Aguilera number, right? I think. Yeah. Something like that, right? Yeah. It's not my favorite either. I think Is that the long, long program? I could have sworn that's it was their a free short. skate. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is Rachmaninoff that we saw. That's um, right. In la this tonight. Yeah, shows how uh, exciting I find this pair. <laughs> yeah, like I'm not even a huge fan of their free program. However, they are very consistent. So as much like even if you're not a favorite, even if they're not your favorite team mm -hmm. in the world. Consistency wise, like you got to give them respect. That's and true. yeah, that's and I all would I'm say. At. I agree that they should be in first. 
my thoughts on Megan and Eric here in the team event short program is I felt like they were good, but they were a little bit tight. Like, looking through the protocols, it does look like some of the judges did take off a point or two on the grades of execution on that side-by-side -side triple lutz. And rightfully so, because it did look a little bit tight. But that's not unusual for this team. Like, they usually do tighten up a little bit whether it's the throws, whether it's the side-by-side -side jumps, everything else is relatively clean for them. So, again, like, again, no surprise there. Like, I would have had them in second here in the short program. But, yeah, like, it is way too close. But, like, they're probably, like, hanging on to a bronze medal right now based on how I see the judges are going at this rate. I may be a little surprised that they skated as clean as they did based off the season they've been having. But, you know, good surprise. Yeah, maybe they're peaking at the right time, you know? Because I know that they want gold in both the team event and the individual. So that is quite the set of goals that for these Olympic Games. But Canada does overall have the we going into tomorrow's competition, so we Yay, shall see. Canada. And then I'd say what was a surprise is Aliona Sevchenko and Bruno Maso uh, in third place. Yeah, like what was the mistake off, on? Off. Was the mistake on the the throw? The throw, yeah. yeah. I didn't see I that surprised. one coming. <laughs> yeah, like. Oof. I was not expecting that. But fortunately for them, it looks like, based on the results of this short program, it doesn't look like Germany will be making the free skate after tomorrow because they do not have the strongest ice stands or the ladies. So, um, if anything, this will give them enough time to recharge for the individual event and perhaps Aliona can get a better chance of getting that gold medal that has been elusive to her so far. That's right. And to show how strong of a team they still are, they are still really close behind Megan and Eric with the fall, you know, with the one point deduction. They do beat them in program component scores, but I almost felt like everything else was amazing. Their triple twist to open up the program was a level four and was given plus three grade of execution marks by all the judges. That's yeah, did you see? Did you see how much height she got on that twist? Like, you know what? It was, if you blink, it looks like it could have been a quad. Like, if you blink really quickly. <laughs> yeah, because when you see it on TV, like, um, it was a little bit more than your TV screen. I, I don't know if it got cut off on my TV screen or if it was really that huge, but... No, it looked how, ginormous. Yeah, so their twist is one of the best. And Yeah, and you know yeah. what we said earlier in the men's... Recap when I said Nathan Chen's short program was the best choreographed. I actually think their short program is the best choreographed for pairs. I agree that I, I like this one and I also like the French's program to the edge here number. Mm -hmm. Those two are my <laughs> favorites. Um, but I agree. I agree like this program is like well choreographed. Yeah, and it's perfect for them. They're a powerful skater. They're exciting, or maybe they make every program that's given to them really exciting. But they have the speed, they command the ice, they're a perfect match for each other. Just so much strength in two older individuals at the Olympic Games just makes me, like, puts me in awe. Like, I can't believe it, but I'm so happy for them. Who I'm also super happy for, though, is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alexa Skemeka Kinnearum and Chris Kinnearum of the United States, fourth place this is amazing for them and the reason why they were able to be in fourth place is because they landed their side by side triple sow cows hallelujah hallelujah and i was so excited because um it was almost as if i'm pretty sure like they were well trained and everything like that but it's almost as if the competition that took place before the olympics the four continents championships were Everyone was landing those side-by-side -side jumps. <laughs> it's almost as if it inspired them to land it here at the Olympic Games. I'll even say it. You had said, too, you were like, it's going to be an embarrassment 
if Alexa and Chris don't land their side by sides at the Olympics because the American pairs did their job at Four Continents. And what do you know? What do you know? Kanishka knows best, right? Yes. <laughs> but you do make a point. I do think, you know, I'm pretty sure Alexa and Chris heard about how the competition went for continents. And, it, you know, it probably made them want to be extra sure that they could land the side-by-sides some of the time. Remember, they're competing four times. Short, long team event, short, long individual. So I, I'm not sure I expect all side-by-side -side jumps to be landed cleanly, but... Hey, at least we have one under the belt. That's good. I agree. Yeah, and she was a little bit too excited on the last lift because I remember like the dismount was where like she kind of like almost tripped. Yeah, but thank goodness like she didn't hit the ice. Otherwise, that would have been a mandatory one point deduction, which would have not been great because it was really close between fourth and seventh even so I yeah. and they could have easily been seventh if the judges wanted them to be but nope they were in fourth above the Chinese and above the French so really surprising results but I in a good way yep. yeah and something that's very interesting to note is that had Nathan Chen just won the short program with Alexa and Chris's placement here in the short program for pairs we would have been tied um, for the lead going into the second phase of this competition, which is the ladies and the ice dance. Um, however, second place is not a place, bad place to start, and anything can happen in the Paris free skate. Right now, being in second place yeah. is pretty good after two disciplines. Yeah, both, both short programs. Did the Americans win the bronze team medal in Sochi, correct? They did, yes. Okay, yeah, so silver would be a step up, but yay, Alexa and Chris. Oh, I'm so glad they were able to do it. Alexa was so happy after landing the throw at the end of the program. Mm, love a good fist in the air moment. And we heard the interview uh, by Andrea Joyce afterwards mm -hmm. where Alexa said that she's really thinking of it these performances as a celebration rather than a competition. And I'd say that works for them. They've worked so hard to make it to the Olympic Games. They really wanted to be on the team in 2014. I so remember that. And now they get to have their moment, and I think they rightfully earned their Olympic spot. Yeah, it was amazing to like learn a little bit more about the struggle that she had leading up to last season, you know? Because we, we never really understood the full details of the health scare. And to know or to have learned um, that she dropped down to like 80 something pounds. Um, and had I think like I knew really, that part. Yeah, and had like really no strength at all. Like to see them have this good of a comeback and to make it to the Olympic Games, great for them. And it's nice to see them land those side by side triples because I know that's their enemy. And I, I look forward to seeing that, them in the individual events. And hopefully we get to see that more consistent as the events That's go right. on. Consistency is the name of the game in pairs, and the reason why they were able to uh, be in fourth place, which is an amazing placement for them, is because the Chinese pair, Cao Yu Yu and Hao Zhang, made a major mistake, which is um, uh, Cao Yu Yu doubling on the double toe, side-by-side -side, uh, toes, and also faltering on the landing, so it's like a minus three across the board on grade of execution from the judges. Big mistakes, because otherwise they do beat out Alexa and Chris in program components. True, yeah. I was not a huge fan of that Swan Lake number, to be honest. But Me neither. I like the ending, but that's about it. Like, they're, Technically, they're very proficient. Like You can see that in the, the protocols, and I'm not discrediting them in that sense, but as a program... I don't know. Whenever I think of pairs, I think of that little romantic connection sometimes. I was going to say, they lack that out of all of the top, uh, top pair teams. teams. Yeah. Other than that, it's nice to see a 30-something-year-old still competing at the top of And apparently he wants to keep going, so kudos to him. He's like, you know, the Yuzu Rohanyu, kind of like not human. <laughs> Yeah, I look forward to seeing his Godfather program some day in the future, you know, when he's 50 years old and still competing, you know. That's right. 
Okay, let's move on to the French pair, Vanessa James and Morgan Cypress. Uh, finishing in fifth here. I'm not the biggest fan of their Ed Sheeran short program, so I'll let you discuss that since you are a fan of it. Well, I like the program. I think it it, it fits well with the current style of skating that is being projected, <laughs> which is more modern and more contemporary. And I think that's the way that this team is going to continue going forward. They started off very well with their twist, but then I guess they doubled, right? Like the double jump. the South Cows. And that really cost them, but maybe this is just like a warm up for them because they are in contention for a bronze medal. But the way that this competition is kind of like being mapped out, it looks like it's going to be a lot more difficult than it, maybe what, maybe like a back. At Europeans, you know, we would thought like back at Europeans, I would have said bronze medal, Vanessa James, Morgan mm-hmm. Cipri. Seems like it's a good bet, but right now, based on how the judging goes, I'm not so convinced. However, I do like this team. I mean, it's it, it's interesting because their program component scores are higher than Sal Yu and Hal. Um, Vanessa and Morgan scored a 33.83, whereas. Um, Sal Yu and Hal got a 32.97. So they do have an edge there. I just, I just don't think they're as technically proficient. And that doesn't mean they can't skate clean programs. It's little things here and there. Uh, their triple twist was only level three. Whereas a lot of yeah, other stop. pairs can get level fours. And then, you know, you just have to land your side-by-side jumps. Land and rotate <laughs> the triple. Yeah, if anything, I'm learning a lot about pairs and even ice dance um, this season. And then... Yeah, these levels are becoming more and more important. Is it more? Is it better to just go for a more difficult level and get a little bit more minus on the grades of execution? It seems like that is the right thing to do, yes? Yeah. So, yeah, moving forward, I'll make sure to <laughs> think about those as I That's right. continue to cheer and on I do, the, with the French, I do like their free program better, but I heard that they changed... Recently, just changed it away from the say something to oh really the pro- yeah program from last year I believe which I'm like no I love that say something free program if I'm wrong I will be so overjoyed but I don't think I am um, if you're wondering why I'm not too sure it's like because I'm not spending too much time on social media while I'm here for work so I believe I saw something um, that said kidding. that. What? <laughs> I'm not spending much time on social media. Yeah, yeah. So feel free to correct us in the comments if you would like. And then, you know what? I'm looking at the um, results sheet, Kanishka. And I think those are the, the, the main pairs to talk about. Um, I guess the Italians were kind of close by afterwards. I didn't think they had a particularly exciting skate. Also had... A technical difficulty on one of their elements. Yeah, it seems like a lot of teams and a lot of skaters are struggling a little bit on this ice. I know you tweeted out jokingly, there must be something wrong with the ice. <laughs> okay, uh, I, to be fair, the men struggled a lot more than the pairs. I guess they fixed up everything that needed to be fixed yeah, up. During they the used surface. a different Zamboni. That's what it is. They need, to get, yeah. they need to get a really good Zamboni for the ladies, okay? Let me tell you something. <laughs> And is it confirmed that Gabby will be competing? Yes. No. Oh, I, oh, I'm the wrong person to ask. I've been following uh, completely. But I guess let, me t- let me tell you, if Gabby's not part of the team event, Skate Canada is going to get a call from me, and I will show up at the front door of their headquarters office, and I will not leave until I give them a piece of my mind. So Gabby will compete in the team event. We're just un- <clears throat> not sure if it's the short or the long yet. Got it. Yeah, I'm excited for that. So that's tomorrow. Oh, is it tomorrow? Or for you today, because it's midnight yeah. over there in Boston. Oh, that's um, right. But yeah, thanks for like yeah having me. Thank on. you for joining. It's been nice to crank out two videos today, and then maybe I can do two more tomorrow, and then we get a little bit of a break before I make the videos again. Yay! It's it's good to have a break though. You just 
time to like analyze the results of the team event and then see how they may stack up for the actual individual events. But I'm sure someone like a rocker skating or something will probably figure that out for us. So yeah, no, no, I'm not in a state of mind to do math or analytical predictions. Nope. <laughs> We are strictly recap people and commentary. But I feel yeah. like um, our videos will be a lot more exciting after the free programs because then obviously we're closer to seeing the final result of which country um, will be able to win a medal. And I'm just rooting for my North American teams, teams Canada and USA. I think we have a good shot. Like really like Adam has been very consistent this season, so a great free program. And Adam is doing the free program. I do know that. That much. is confirmed. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then it looks like Mirai will be doing the free program too, cool. even though it's not been just closed yet. Um, and then I rumor has it that the Shibertanis are doing both, um, which not everyone's happy about. No, I would love to see Madison yeah. Hubble and Zach Donahue, but it is what it is. Yeah, so whatever may be, like, may the best team win. There you go. I'm going to keep it politically correct tonight. All right, yeah. let's end on that positive note. Thank you again for joining me, Kanishka. And thank you for watching, everybody on YouTube. Have a good night. Have a good night. Thanks. Bye. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Have a good night, Justin. Sleep well. Bye-bye.